All right, welcome back, Cult of Fiend Blade Reviews. Valor Arms, 15th century arming sword. So, this one's really sweet. It's got a diamond cross section on it. It's a double-edged blade. It's really lightweight for how big the blade is, too. Take a look at some specs on it, up close looks, and some cut testing. Let's get to it. All right, overall length of this blade is a little bit over 37 inches. Check out the logo. That's the Balor Arms logo that you'll see stamped into all their blades. 31 inch blade, just like over, I believe, 38 and three quarters and 31 and three quarters. That's like 31 and three quarters and 31 and seven eighths, but a little bit over that. So, double edged blade um, intended to be used as a single edge. No, sorry, a single edge, a single handed slashing and thrusting weapon. You have the ability to do those both. So you have the ability to redirect the thrust or to have the bigger slashes if you needed to do that as well. So really easy to re-maneuver this blade when you're moving with it. Um, some of the arming swords I've worked with before, other companies, they're a little heavy. You feel it really in the forearm. It's hard to change direction as fast as I would like it to. Not the case with this one. It's really easy to change direction with this one. So, 5160 high carbon steel. Uh, we have a leather wrapped wood handle. A little bit shorter of a grip here, you can see, but allows a full grip. We've got the pommel. It is a peened design, so there's no twisting off or anything like that. It is peened. Shorter hand guard, still enough to protect the hand on both sides of the thumb and the forefinger side. Nice and solid. What I really like about this blade, other than the handle, is the diamond cross section. So if it hits the light properly, see that little bump in the middle? Yep. Aesthetically, it's really cool, and functionally, it's really cool because it helps the cuts when you slash through stuff because there's less surface area, so it works better. There's science to it. And you're going to see it, too, when we cut stuff with it. You can cut the clip right there. This also comes with a leather-wrapped wood scabbard. So we have this black leather scabbard. Little steel tip on the end of it to protect the tip of the sword. We have the stitching going all the way up. This one's blemish. It's not going to look like that unless you buy a blemished one. But it's just a blemished one, so we're using it to cut stuff with. It's got the flaps on the sides, the rain guard. You could get a sword belt to attach to this. Wear it underneath. Boom, boom, boom. Get all that set up. We got sword frogs. We got all the stuff you need and the accessories and the belts and the leather section at coldwithian.com. Uh, draws really nicely. Like I said, you can see in there, it's all wood. Yep, so from here, I want to do some close-up looks in the scabbard on the scabbard, and I'll do some cut testing. Let's get to it. Throw on the handle. This one's lighter too. But these are also kind of dry too, so I think I have to follow through more. There we go. 
All right, so there you have a 15th century arming sword from Balor Arms. Look at some specs, some up-close looks in the scabbard, out the scabbard. Did some cut testing as well. If you like blades like this, if you like Balor Arms, we got a couple more we're going to review for this month. Subscribe to the channel, like this video. Talk to you soon.